Hi students, welcome to the session from Infinity Lane. Today we are going to discuss about Nernst equation. It's very important topic from electrochemistry, from NEET examination. Based on Nernst equation, you can expect one question about four marks. Let us start. What is Nernst equation? Before going for that, let us take a capture about score examination. Infinity Lane is offering score examination. This score examination is India's largest scholarship examination for you and you may be related to Infinity Lane or Sri Chaitanya or may not be related. Let it be your studying from any other schools or colleges. You are eligible to write this score examination and this score examination is completely online and you can sit at your home and you can do it. And we are going to present many things about the score examination online and the scholarships about 1 crore. That's the reason why I said it is India's largest scholarship examination. And also you will be given study laptop and study setup. And it is a gift to you based on your performance in your examination. So enroll and the educational allowances be up there. And up to 100% scholarship is for you for about the score examination in the description box it is available and you click it and you enroll and get all opportunities it is for the score examination from grade 3 to grade 12 any students can write this score examination get ready and what late. And also we are offering NEET examination 2025 All India Test Series a package is available. Let us just take a recap of this. What are the salient features of this test series? 27 AITS tests which includes 13 unit test, 4 part test and 10 grant test based on NEET preparation absolutely related to NCART. And also 20 online NEET syllabus complete mock test and also grade 11 to 12 syllabus will be perfectly covered in that and 25 NEET topic wise previous year questions are also there and 3 PCP books along with video solutions on the app is available and detailed solution and performance report for every question paper will be conducted on this package. And you can see benchmarking with the Sri Chaitanya students and the rank comparison along with the Sri Chaitanya students will be given. And what let you just enroll by scanning this QR code and also in the description box the link is available you can enroll now. So what is the actual price it was 5999 but you can see special discount sirf aap ke liye 4799 ka tak and Provided that condition, Suresh20 is the coupon code. If you enter this coupon code, then only you are going to get this special discount. So, let us talk about this Nernst equation from the electrochemistry. The most important topic among all subtopics from the electrochemistry is Nernst equation. What is this Nernst equation? When a metal is dipped in its aqueous solution, it experiences some potential. And that potential is dependent on temperature as well as concentration. So Nernst equation is going to give you the relation between the cell potential with respect to, to the concentrations is given. So effect of concentration and temperature on electrode potential is explained on the basis of Nernst equation. So let us say a metal electrode consider a half cell. For a half cell a metal is taking an electron and gives it as a metal solid. So it is a reduction process for this process Nernst equation is given as E m2 plus on m gives rest E0 m2 n plus and m uh, minus RT upon nf ln m by m plus. What is this? It is basically written from thermodynamics and equilibrium. You can say E cell is equal to E0 cell minus RT by NF LN QC bus. Itna hai. What is this QC? That QC is nothing but reaction quotient. You can use this reaction quotient at equilibrium QC is equal to KC. Based on that we can expand this equation and it is given as MN plus upon M is going to be E0 
so this is the electrode potential at a given concentration this is a standard electrode potential minus rt by nf ln m by m plus equilibrium rules ka hisab se a value unity lena padta hai and if you take here it is a standard electrode potential and r jo value hai na 8.314 joule kelvin inverse mole inverse lena padta hai and t is of course is absolute temperature it is said to be 298 kelvin and n is the number of electrons that are taking involved in that redox change and f is a faraday which value is 96500 coulombs and for a pure liquids and uh, solids we have to take this value as a unity by taking this rt by nf into the natural logarithm to logarithm to the base 10 you are going to see electrode potential at a given concentration is equal to standard electrode potential minus 0.0591 n how did you get this you take rt by nf r value 8.314 liya temperature 298 liya and f is equal 96500 liya ye sab involve karke 2.303 se multiply karna padta hai so that you are going to get this and this is the nernst equation for single electrode for the reduction process and if you consider our galvanic cell our galvanic cell is zinc react with copper 2 plus in aqueous solution gives rise zinc 2 plus in the copper so apka q c apka aana hai that is zinc 2 plus upon copper 2 plus concentration and if you take that e cell is equal to e not cell minus 2.303 rt by n ef okay and a log zinc 2 plus upon copper 2 plus so n value you are going to get as a 2 because zinc loses two electrons gives rise zinc 2 plus and copper 2 plus takes two electrons gives rise copper so that two electrons are involved so that zinc plus copper 2 plus gives rise copper plus zinc 2 plus so the number of electrons that are involved are two for this galvanic cell expression and also at equilibrium cell is at equilibrium emf of the cell is going to be zero and qc is equal to kc as i mentioned in that case zero is equal to e cell minus 2.303 rt by 2 is equal to uh, dot kc so you can get calculate kc from there or you can also say e not cell is equal to 2.303 rt by 2 log kc and from there you can say e not cell is equal to 0.529 by 2 log kc in general for any cell at equilibrium kc is going to be calculated based on this expression so you can say e not cell is going to be 2.303 rt by nf log kc so this is this boxed formula is very important so we are talking about non equation from this ncrt related and this equilibrium constant is connected to electrochemistry so there are two topics which are interrelated so this kind of questions are very important for the neat examination my dear students you have to apply these concepts to get the best out of it i can guarantee you that at the end of this session you will be able to write the certain questions and we will be discussing that type of questions as well so log kc is equal to n e not upon 0.529 it's a simple simple shortcut formula you can use it and also what is the gibbs free energy change and cell potential so delta g is equal to minus n f e cell so this is a gibbs free energy change minus n is the number of electrons that are involved f is equal to 96500 e cell is cell potential you can also take from there uh, electrode potential and solubility product so when the ion is considered for let us say sparingly soluble salts like silver halide silver chloride silver bromide silver iodide they are ionized to give rise agi takes an electron and gives rise ag plus i minus so this correspond to the electrode i minus 
and agi is a precipitate with a silver as an electrode here and it is this metal insoluble salt anion electrodes are written as e ag and ag plus and ag is equal to e not ag plus and so this is what you say electrode potential at this concentration you have to consider the agcl or agi concentration and it is standard electrode potential you need to calculate minus 0.0, .0 Five nine one divided by one. Why? Because n is equal to one. Why? Because Ag plus takes an electron and it is deposited as Ag. So n is equal to one for this and log one by Ag plus concentration. Based on that, you can calculate solubility product as well. So based on that, for a reaction, Agi takes an electron, gives us Ag plus I minus. For that. Electrode potential for this I minus and Ag plus and Ag is given as E naught of I minus and Ag plus and Ag E minus 0 0.0591 by 1 log I minus. So from there you can calculate the solubility product as well. And what are the concentration cells? If you take a zinc sulfate and uh, zinc rod and zinc sulfate, copper rod and copper sulfate, there is a Daniel cell. And if you take a copper sulfate and copper and copper sulfate and copper, but the copper sulfate is a different concentration and copper sulfate is in different concentration and they exert a difference in that electrode potentials that is called that drives the EMF. Such kind of electrodes are called as a concentration cell. What I mean to say the concentration cells are the kind of Daniel cell, but we have the same electrolyte with different concentrations. For that, you have the same electrodes and the same electrolyte but different concentrations. Conditions for concentration cell is standard electrode potential is always 0. For that, by applying Nernst equation, E cell is equal to 0 0.591 by 2 for this copper and copper sulphate and log C1 upon C2. The reaction to be spontaneous, E cell is supposed to be greater than 2 greater than 0 and also you can say concentration cells these concentration cells are two types electrolytic concentration cells and electrode concentration cells in the electrolytic concentration cells you take the electrode with the electrolyte is a different concentrations whereas in the electrode concentration cells you take the partial pressures are going to be different so there are two types of concentration cells you follow this hierarchy simply that you can take E cell is equal to E naught cell minus 0 0.059 by N log C2 upon C1. So that E naught is going to be 0 minded here P1 upon P2, P1 and P2 are the partial pressures. Here you have to take E naught cell is going to be 0 that is the essential condition for these concentration cells. And also thermodynamics of the galvanic cell and delta G is equal to N F E cell and uh, entropy is equal to mine, uh, N F D E by D T that is what you call it as temperature quotient and also you can say Gibbs free energy and the potential delta G is equal to minus N F E and delta G naught is equal to minus N F E naught cell. So this is in the standard condition and that is in the any condition. For a reaction to be spontaneous, delta G supposed to be negative and for this reaction or a cell reaction, if it is not spontaneous, you are going to take delta G is going to be positive and if the cell is at equilibrium, delta G is going to be 0. These are the essential conditions you need to know about the thermodynamics of the electrochemical cell. And also, we just see a couple of questions how to encounter the questions based on this NCRT Nernst equation. So, if the E0 cell for the given reaction has a negative value, so E0 value is negative, then which of the following gives the correct relationship between the values of delta G and equilibrium constant. As for a reaction, cell reaction is working, cell reaction is working, I want to say E cell is going to be positive and delta G is supposed to be negative. 
if it is at equilibrium both are supposed to be zero if this is not working e cell is going to be negative and delta g is going to be positive it is said that cell negative value is given based on that we can say delta g is going to be positive and equilibrium is going to be negative therefore the cell is not at all working in this situation and also we have one more numerical how do we calculate the representation in the cell which of the following reaction takes place like magnesium is reacting with the silver whose concentration of the silver ions are given and magnesium 2 plus whose concentration is given 0.130 and ag is deposited you are asked to calculate e cell and if you are given e naught cell is going to be 3.17 to calculate this to calculate this you have a simple nernst equation e cell is equal to e naught cell minus 0.0591 by n log concentration of anode upon log concentration of cathode in this anode this is your anode and this is your going to be cathode and here e cell is going to be e naught cell is given as a 3.17 minus 0.0591 upon there are two electrons that are been involved in this redox change you can see magnesium loses two electrons loss of electrons it is anode and 2 ag plus takes two electrons and gives rise silver so that you are going to get a magnesium plus 2 ag plus and gives rise magnesium 2 plus and ag and there is a number of electrons 2 are involved and log whose anode here mg so 0 0.130 and cathode 0 0.0001 and it has to be squared on solving so you are going to get e cell is equal to 2.96 volts like that you can get the question one is the option for this so like this is the model it is from the ncrt actually it is derived and you can practice this type of question so many are there in the ncrt book so that you can do the best in the neat examination so please like this session and share with your friends and subscribe to neat infinity lane channel and if you have any doubts please mention in the comment box thank you very much thank you